I don't have anything down for public comment, so. I want to thank, uh, well, they're not, I want to thank the highway department for getting out and uh, patching those potholes to do some road. I also want to know if Biddy can go in and either can or make some kind of acknowledgement of where the supposed farms are going. Do you mean like future solar? Well, like all, the ones that are already there or that you've already approved. Well, there are, I know Gen X has uh, their website, they have their project online that you can go to. So, are you wanting the county to? Um, yeah, the yeah. big gets I mean, we all oh, oh, you can oh, put another layer on for that. I mean, these, these are. These companies have private agreements with landowners that have the right to do with their property what they want. So there's no mechanism. There's no mechanism to that town. Yeah, that's 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 unreasonable. I mean, Beacon. We put a lot of Beacon. Beacon is a private company. We don't have control over Beacon. I'm just asking. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Carol. I'm going to have to approve the minutes from the February 20th meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from our February 20th meeting as uh, written. And I'll second all those in favor. Aye. To uh, claims uh, 1 through 124 in the amount of $389,498.97, the unpublished claims and payroll claims. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. Those in favor. Aye. We have several additional requests. Uh, County General uh, for the jail, matron $6,792.96. Deputy matron $2,024.60. Jail commander, Deputy 5, $5,287.96. And then County General Circuit Court for the Courthouse Safety Officer. $10,788.34. Let Public Safety, Sheriff, $11,306.26. Chief Deputy, $8,396.06. Deputy Sergeant Detective, $7,729.54. SRO, Deputy 2, $7,328.46. Deputy 3, $7,328.46. Deputy 4, $6,981.08. Deputy 6, $5,288.40. Deputy 7, $3,595.50. Deputy 8, $5,922.46. Deputy 9, $4,229.78. Deputy 10, $6,346.14. Share of the Senate pay, $4,000. Do you need a correction of probation grant? I'll just got to go on. Probation grant, third probation officer, $5,786. And Social Security for that, $446. <laughs> Yeah, you got the blame on this all the board to bring them up to the oh, the, the council is arranged to bring them up their pay to what to what surrounding county yes and, yeah so that's so, important is that about 15 yep. percent price and play i don't know what was it Jack? Yeah. yes so some of them were 15 percent okay. and others were just based on experience okay because yeah. we years we're losing like sure Served on it's just hard to keep, you know, you don't keep. Absolutely, I just wanted to put it on public record if I be done. Okay. So I'll I'm make sorry. a motion to approve the additional request and send on the town Second, all those in favor. Aye. We have a transfer um, of health housekeeping with an amount of $210 to liability insurance due to the increase of the liability insurance. Brilliant. I'll make a motion to accept the uh, transfer. To approve the transfer. Okay. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. 
Arts, your team's here. Yeah. Did I have your department heads doing that? So I'm going to make sure that. Just on the status of the two trucks at Portland. They are there. The chassis have been delivered. Uh, but I'll know when it's the third today timeline. I'll know if we completed. They say we're top priority. So once I know that, then I'll get a few telling and I'll figure out how much money is like that. So other than that, no, no. we got four truck up and running now. So seems to be working pretty good. Two, we hired two full time paramedics to fill the 24 hour spots. Awesome. So, still have two with the 12 hour for our next spots, so but we'll continue what we're doing. We'll figure out. We may have to make a change on the well, fire medics in that spot or not. So, or not. We'll go around. Okay. Do you have anything for me? Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, Rick. Yeah. Could you come up here and talk about that bathroom? Talk oh, about wow. the back, the restrooms. 911 restroom. Okay. Yeah. I would say a few months ago, we put it was two in the one one. Cost quite a bit of money. For it. And we put four by diaphragms in a bunch of them. Anyhow, last week it started. It's flushed your hair, it's draining it down to a full. We've had a sand, rainy slider come in like that. We don't know really at this point where the water's coming from. So the asbestos people are going to come in and see if we've got asbestos through we do in both America. We might have to shut the bathroom down again and then remove the stool to see if they get come apart when they put it in there. Okay. Yeah. So it's a little frilly mess. So and this is just constant with this building. Oh, it's, it's something going on all the time. It's, it's not one thing it's too. Okay, right. Just you can't keep up. We got a lot of uh, plastic coming down, a lot of different homelessness. But I don't know. I guess uh, we'll, we'll know when they come in and test it. If there's any there, how much is there? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you're a smart man. You're not going to be here in four years yeah. and this thing really falls apart. Right. Well, it's going to, <laughs> it's going to, it's going to get worse. Yeah. If it wait, I don't my personal pain, I don't think it would. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's exactly it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Did you have something? Yeah. <laughs> we already talked about you a few minutes ago, so relax. <laughs> <laughs> you were new to here. The only I've got has said the enemies in there. How many are we leaving out? Or Yeah, we have 59 males, 11 females, 12 Department of Corrections, two parole, and 19 souls. Wow, so 19 and 12. We were paid for the DOC, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's me. Thank you. Everything else going okay? You guys do you, do you have a leak? We did. You got fixed. You got fixed. Okay. So, <laughs> it's just we're popping up here and there. It is what it is. Well, yeah. so we can get fixed and keep going. So, Century been doing it for you. Okay. Yes. Good thing they're just a few miles away. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, leave that one alone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, any other department heads? If not, I have to. Brenda? Yes. Sorry, this is Jason. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I, I just want to let you guys know that we are down three positions right now um so we have some interviews that we're going to be i'm going to look into scheduling this week um also next tuesday and wednesday travis and myself will be at road school at purdue um and along the the lines of the vacancies um we were planning on doing about 60 mile of 
chip seal this year, but with the with the vacancies that we have, if we can't get those filled, we're probably going to bump this back down to around 40 miles this year. Um, and that also depends on the aggregate we can get, the pea gravel, uh, depending on where we get that from with the prices being what they are. So just wanted to give that heads up. I'm still working on a like a project list for you guys. So if, if we need to put it out, we can. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jason. Thanks. <clears throat> okay. Um, I do have an agreement from professional services from Envoy um, before us. Um, and I think looking through it, I have no problem accepting the you know, the advisement so that. Yeah, it, it, I mean, for a surface contract, I, I think technically I would just table it. Um, I think the, the form of the agreement isn't the issue. I mean, that was uh, vetted by um, Cameron and it relates to the BOT process. It's, it's just more of a, the county has had other, um, other professional service providers that have done certain work already that the county's paid for. And I, I think the county engineer um, would like to review a, a detailed itemized uh, co uh, cost estimate of the proposed cost. It's, it's just really just to make sure that we're not, there's not redundancies for stuff that you've already paid for. If they can, can work and, and build on um, other preliminary work, and that may be all built in, would be built in, but the, the, okay. so I just think it's prudent to to review that. So my recommendation would just be a, a motion to table that to the next meeting. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second, all those in favor? Five. Yeah. And so Justin will be on, well, one of us will be in contact in order to you uh, regarding what are findings, you know, what things that they have. Uh, who do we communicate with, Justin? Is that who he needs to contact with you? If, if you're okay, like, yeah, directly. Okay. To you're to yes. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Roger. Sorry. <laughs> And of course, we have Mike Connolly here from Arbitura. So um, I know I want to go. Thank you. Mr. Conley, yeah. do you have anything that you'd like to add? I know Rick had just spoke about the state of the the pipes in this courthouse. I mean, did you have something that because I know you had walked through the whole courthouse and did your assessments right. um, just so that people will know how bad things are at the sure. courthouse. Through the course of a master plan, which the county commissioners approved uh, last year, our thorough investigation with all the departments throughout the courthouse, uh, we also did a investigation of the amount of asbestos that's in this courthouse. It's actually very dangerous to be breathing the air here. We also made an analysis of all the handicap accessibility issues that are in the courthouse, in addition to just the positions at uh, the various offices. We know that to take out and demolish parts of the building, particularly asbestos and some of the heating and cooling system, it's going to create a mess for people who live here. So it was our advice, along with the commissioners, to 
relocate uh, county offices from the courthouse into the annex or other locations that, that are suitable uh, during the time that reconstruction can take place. Um, I know of various folks that we talked to during the investigation interview process that indicated the air quality conditions are not good. And uh, we worked with the firm of Amaresco and uh, their engineers to determine options with regard to getting a cooling system. We think it's very important to take these steps because we Furbishing the courthouse and taking care of the people that are in the courthouse is not going to be an overnight thing. Everything from placing the restrooms and bringing them up the code to dealing with the asbestos issues, the heating and cooling issues, not to mention just the fabric in the building, are very important to take care of. Uh, we, and we, we know your qualifications, but could you, I mean, you work on federal buildings, county buildings, historical buildings. Our firm has worked with the federal government for 15 years with the General Services Administration. We've also worked with the Veterans Administration. I personally am a veteran, and uh, we have numerous projects that we work on at the same right. time. We're working the county projects. We've also helped 10 to 12 different counties with uh, not only renovations to their courthouse, but annex buildings and other projects currently we're working with Lawrence County right now. And so we are also working with the Vermillion County folks. And in the past, we worked with Harvey County and uh, Hamilton County and on and on. And uh, we're very happy to share some credentials to anyone who has questions about that, that we feel that we enjoy doing this. Right. And we enjoy and making certain that not only the physical and functional elements of our here courthouse work, but maintaining the historic beauty of this courthouse is incredibly important. Right. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Thank and you. just to go on record, it's not the Fountain County Commissioners making these decisions. It's a highly skilled professional firm, just like we try to surround ourselves with all the time. It's not the council making these decisions. They they have to fund the money, but um, sometimes I think people, citizens, uh, taxpayers, it's not a popular decision to raise taxes ever, but it's the job you sign up for when you take these positions. You're not always loved when you're in these positions. And that's all we are trying to do as commissioners is to get get back on track and sit putting band-aids on everything. So I just want to go on public record saying we have hired an outstanding group of people to make sure that this project happens and it is done correctly. Not band-aided, not put someone's life at jeopardy because you want to do it floor by floor. I've heard that from a council member that why don't we just do it floor by floor? Well, why don't we just let me give an answer to that comment yeah. question of uh, floor by floor or other sequential versions of doing reconstruction in a building. Uh, we actually ran a test and did a project in Posey County years ago. They had a very similar situation. We also needed to deal with the Sheriff's Department to put holding cells in the courthouse at the same time do massive renovations throughout the whole courthouse for many of the same reasons. And we took two different bits. One bit was to renovate, work around all the folks in the courthouse at the same time. The other was to move people out of the courthouse and uh, let the contractors do the renovation work without people in the courthouse. There was a 30% savings in the bid price by moving people out of the courthouse and although there was some cause to temporarily house them in either rented facilities or other surrounding empty buildings, uh, there was at least a 20% net savings overall. I'm not saying that every county in this county is going to be exactly the same, but we feel that uh, you will benefit not only from a financial standpoint, but also from a safety standpoint. No, well, one you said that, that was many years ago, so chances are now with that thing way everything is, it's going to be more than that. Yeah. Dollar-wise, it yes. percentage-wise, yes. maybe similar. And every year, I mean, we're talking, if everything goes smooth, 
Uh, we're talking two to three years, maybe four before this project even starts. The court. Well, I know. I, I, I do too. I can understand. Just the other things will take place if it's going to take four years. But okay, well, we can talk about that somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So um, just, I mean, I just want to be clear. We have hired professional people and we need to listen to them. We have a job to sign contracts. Council has a job to figure out where the money's coming from. It needs to be done every year we put this off. It's millions more. Had we did this 10 years ago, 15 years ago, like we should have, instead of putting band-aids on things, it would have probably been five or six million dollars. We're looking in the range of 15 million now in the courthouse, correct? In the range. Yes. Probably. In the range. So we can either decide to put band-aids on everything again. Rick, the man who works here every day, has stated that it's in bad shape. You have stated as a professional, it's not in good shape. I just want to get this all on record. So when it if it doesn't, if this project doesn't move on, I'm not going to be the one to blame. Okay. Thank you. Nor can, can you nor can can you address the roads going to do shop? Oh yeah, I forgot. When the county highway is in is in absolutely horrible uh, shape also, and it is in this pro in this group of projects to be redone also. So the court courthouse and the original agreement or. Discussions with the council and commissioner for the annex, county highway, and the courthouse. So the annex first, and county highway could run right alongside of it, and then the courthouse. So, and we've got prices on all of them. We've done a significant amount of work to back out now, as usual. That's that what the, the history's been. Do a lot of work back out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and explaining. Oh. There's a lot of reasons to it. There is yes, there is. And, and, I, and that was that was kind of uh, I think our goal to get the process moving because there's so much you know into this courthouse that we know that it's going to be the last project that we have to do some things to right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Oh, okay. Do we have a range meeting now? We have a range meeting okay. right after that. Uh, and then I would, if you will stick around, I would like this to speak to you both. Thank you. Sorry, I don't mean to be bossy. I'll well. make a motion to close the meeting. Okay, I'll say it in favor. Aye. Aye. Good. Thank you. On the exhibit C, there are kids in the C. This one. 